name is Christy Lancaster, and I'm here with Pam Letzi. We're both the chairs of this year's Epi Lifestyle Scientific Sessions, and we're here to wrap up the meeting. Um, this has been, of course, a crazy year. We've been saying that all year long, and COVID is in the forefront of everything. And the other thing that's in the forefront is health equity and social justice. We made those two themes our themes for this meeting, and we had terrific keynotes for both. Um, for the health equity and social justice one, what really stood out to me is that we all know that there's work that we have to do, but a key piece um, that we have to remember as researchers and clinicians is talking to the community or to your patients, your participants, to try to understand what some of the issues are um, and sort of broaden your scope to include the social determinants, environment, and other issues that can influence um, what's going on. Um, and that uh, There was also part of that theme in the COVID um, session, but I'll let Pam talk about that. So COVID was the other large focus of the meeting. And, you know, we've learned a lot about COVID in an incredibly short period of time in the grand scheme of things, but yet there's a lot left to learn. And one thing that was very apparent from this meeting was how COVID has really highlighted the painful price of ignoring inequities in our society and also the importance of prevention. Definitely, and it, and it stood out to me in that keynote session that even though when we think about disparities in COVID and we think about um, the differences in people of color compared to the general population, um, some of those differences go away when you look at environment and socio-demographic factors. So again, we really have to address those things and keep those front of mind as we are um, conducting our research. And these are clearly conversations that are gonna be ongoing. And as part of our meeting, we tried to encourage conversations through both roundtables that allowed smaller groups of people um, to cluster and discuss ideas and also through some of our early career events. Definitely, and um, um, I, I peeked in on some of those sessions and there were some robust discussions going on and hopefully we'll be able to keep those discussions going on uh, in future meetings. We learned a lot at this meeting. The science has been super interesting and we hope that you will join us next year in 2022.